Hey Geeks, Tim with MajorGeeks.com. Today we're going to look at restoring the Windows Photo Viewer on Windows 10. It uses less memory and some people like it and some people want it back because they can. If you clean install, which is what you have here, you're not going to find it. But if you have Windows 7 and you upgraded to 10, just find an image, right click on it, and go to Open With. Scroll down to where it says Choose Another App and you will see it here. Piece by piece you will have to use Always Use for whichever you want by format so JPEG GIF if you view different types of images so a bit of a pain but you can use it now if you don't see it right here scroll down to more apps and as you can see I don't have Windows Photo Viewer it's been replaced of course with photos so that means we got to do a registry edit so let's back up our registry just in case before you start and right click on your desktop do new text document and name it I don't know restore uh, photo viewer how about that dot reg now odds are if you're not seeing hidden files if you click on it it's going to open as a text document that's okay for now let's copy and paste the code which I will include and close it to save now you have a registry document now it looks like it is and each computer will be different depending on how you're seeing files and folders. So double click it. If it opens, it's seeing it as a text document, in which case open File Explorer up and go to the view. And you see this right here, file name extensions. Check on that. Now you can see the photo or the file was actually called dot text. So now we can click on it and remove the dot text, converting that into a dot reg. You'll get your little warning here. The answer is yes. Now you see it changed to the registry icon. So all we need to do now is double click that, say yes to the prompts, say yes to the next scary prompt. You backed up your registry, right? And it's been added to the registry. Now we need to do a reboot and I will pause the video as we reboot so that, I got to update too, so that's great, so that we can save some time. So we'll be back with a fresh look at the Windows screen and we'll show you how to set it up. All right, and we are back. Windows has rebooted to make those changes in the registry work. So now find your picture, whatever it is, and right click just like we did before. And we want to go again to open with, I have a hard time finding that every time for some reason. And the same thing's going to happen. Choose another app. Now click more apps again and scroll on down till you find Windows Photo Viewer. If you like and you use a lot of JPEGs and you want this to be your default, just click on that to always use the app to open JPEG files. And there is the old Windows Photo Viewer. So pretty cool. Um, teaches them. Now, one other thing I've read about, I'll give it to you, even though it doesn't work for me, Again, every computer is different. It might depend on whether you did an upgrade or whether you blah, blah, blah. But on a clean install of Windows, what I'm dealing with here is we can go to the control panel and go to apps and default apps. Again, just giving you a heads up. Didn't work for me. Under default apps, you can find your photo viewer. As you can see, it's gone blank. So maybe it's going to work now. I haven't. The last time I tried, it didn't work. So photo viewer is now blank. Yeah, so this does work. But no, there's photos, paint, paint 3D, sketchbooks, and no, it didn't work. So kind of a pain in the butt here, but some people say this works. Give it a shot if you want to change all your default photos to the old Windows Photo Viewer. So not too tough. And again, make sure you back up your registry because while we have a registry file here to implement this, we do not have a registry file to erase it. No real harm done. This is one of those registry hacks that... Even if you change your mind, you can still, as you saw, decide how you open this or any of your images anyway. So it's kind of pointless to worry about setting it backwards. Just forget about it. So there you go. If you miss the old Windows Photo Viewer, some of the advantages of the Windows Photo Viewer is it uses less memory. To some people, it's a little less cluttered. It's up to you. But of course, you're already here. So what am I telling you for? Hey, as always, click subscribe. Thanks for watching. And hopefully we'll see you on the next video.